Hi guys, my name is Peter and welcome to a brand new video. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can host a static website using an EC2 instance. So previously, I have already made a video on uh, how you can host a static website using S3. And in this video, I'm going to show you the exact same using an EC2 instance. So I won't be talking a lot detail about uh, S3 buckets or uh, EC2 instance since I have already made an independent video about uh, S3 buckets as well as uh, the configuration and creation process of an instance. So if you guys want a bit more detail about uh, either of these, I'll leave the link to those videos in the description below and uh, you can refer that. So right now I am in uh, the AWS console. So the first thing that I'm going to do is that I'll be creating a new bucket and uh, we will be uploading our uh, website files onto the bucket so to do that i want to click on the search bar and let me search for s3 over here and let's head to the s3 section and in this particular page i want to click on create bucket option and uh, here let's enter the bucket name that's going to be portfolio website so if you don't know uh, the name for the bucket should be unique and also if you are planning to connect a uh, domain to your bucket make sure that uh, your bucket name and uh, the domain name is the same so the AWS region is going to be US, uh, US East and the availability zone is going to be US dash East dash 2. So the ownership is going to be uh, ACLs disabled. So here I'm going to uncheck block call public access. So if you guys want more details about why we are doing this, please do watch the video. The link is in the description and I'm going to acknowledge the same. So that's it. Let's click on uh, create bucket. So here you can see that uh, the uh, bucket name with the same name already exists. So we need to change that. So let's create a bucket. All right, our bucket has been created. Now let's get inside a bucket. And the first thing that I'm going to do is that I'm going to upload all the required files. So let me drag and drop that. So here you can see that I have already made my uh, file into a zip format. So you guys should also uh, compress your entire uh, website file folder uh, into a zip file. And let's drag it onto our bucket. And uh, let's select our bucket and click on upload right here. And the uploading process can take a couple of seconds. So let's wait for that. So guys, our uh, files have been uploaded. So let's close it. And here you can see that this is uh, our uploaded file. So if I click on it, here you can see the object URL. And uh, if I click on the object URL, here you can see that we are getting an error that uh, access denied. So we need to fix that. So to fix that, let's uh, actually select our file over here. Let's go to permissions. And uh, if you scroll down here, you can see bucket policy. Let's click on edit. And uh, after that, open a new tab and let's search for uh, AWS uh, bucket policy. So let's open the AWS document. And uh, if you scroll down, you can see a read only bucket policy. This one right here. So let's copy it. And let's head back to our bucket policy editor. Let's paste the bucket policy over here. And here we need to replace our doc dash XML dash bucket with our uh, bucket name. So let's copy our uh, bucket name from here. And uh, let's select it carefully. Do not delete the slash or uh, these columns. So let's select it and paste our bucket name. And after that, click on save changes. So here you can see that now our bucket is publicly accessible. And now if you try to access our file, you can see that when I click on the object URL, you can see that uh, our file is automatically been downloaded. So this is what we need. And now it's time for us to create an instance. So here I'm going to open a new tab for the instance creation process. So here let's click on the instance option right here. So I have already made a video on uh, a detailed video on instance creation and configuration. The link is in the description again. So let's click on launch instances right here. So I'm going to provide a name as portfolio dash server. I'm going to select the Amazon Linux AMI. So the instance is going to be T2 micro, which is a general purpose uh, instance. So the key pair login, I already have a key pair. So I'm going to select that. So in the network setting, we need to configure it. So let's click on the edit option. So the VPC I'm going to select is going to be a default VPC. 
so in the security group we already have a single rule that is an ssh rule so we also need an http rule so to add that let's click on add security group rule and here under the type let's select http and the source type is going to be anywhere and after that we have got storage which i'm going to leave as it is and after that let's click on launch instance so here we can see a basic summary like we are spinning up a single instance the mi is amazon linux 2 kernel version 5.10 uh, the instance type is t2 micro and we have got information about the security group and the storage after that let's click on launch instance and let's click on view all instances and if you refresh our page we can see that our uh, portfolio dash server website is still under the pending state so after a couple of seconds it will be in the running state let's refresh it and wait for our instance to be in the running state all right guys our instance is finally in the running state so let's select the instance so to connect the instance i'll be using the ssh method so for that i'm going to simply copy the ipv4 address so before that let's select our um, instance and click on the connect option uh, let's select ssh client and let's copy the uh, ssh command and now let's open up a terminal so here i'm going to redirect to my uh, folder where i have saved my key pair login so here i have got my key pair login right here so now i'm going to paste in the ssh command and now you can see that it is actually trying to connect via the uh, private ipv4 address but i'm going to connect it via the public ipv4 address so for that i'm going to copy it and let's paste it right over here and let's press enter here let's enter s and finally now we are in our machine so here you can see the IP address. So who am I? Is providing ec2 dash user as the username. So first of all, let's see if we have got any packages that are that are to be updated. So let's enter sudo em update dash y. So all the files are updated. So let's also enter sudo uh, issue. Otherwise, we need to enter sudo in front of all the commands. So now we have got the root privilege. So you have got complete access over the machine. So be careful with the privileges that you have got. And now we need to create uh, or now we need to install a server. Since our AC2 instance is going to act like a web server, we need to use a server. So I'm going to use Apache that is HTTPD. So to do that, let's type in yum install HTTPD. Let's end the Y. And now we have got our HTTPD installed on our server. So now it is time for us to basically retrieve uh, the information or the data from our S3 bucket onto our EC2 instance. So we need to redirect to another directory for that, that is uh, called as an HTML directory. So the present wor working directory for us is so the home dash EC2 dash user. So we need to change to our HTML directory. So let's enter CD space slash war slash www slash html let's press enter so right now we are in our html uh, directory and we have got no files in it so now we need to retrieve uh, the data from s3 bucket onto our instance so to do that let's enter wget space and now we need to paste in the object url of our file so let's go to our s3 bucket and here you can see the object url of the file Let's copy it and let's paste it and press enter. So now we have got the file. So if I enter ls, here you can see that our file is right here. And now we need to unzip the file. For that, I want to enter unzip space, the name of the file. And let's press enter. And now we have got the unzipped file in our directory. As you can see, this is the unzipped file. So now we need to uh, move all the files outside of this particular folder onto our HTML folder so that it can be accessed. So to do that, let's enter MV space portfolio forward slash space V4 
slash star and dot so this dot specify that i want to move all the files to the current directory that i am in so if you remember the person working directory is html so by specifying dot it's going to move all the files from the portfolio space v4 folder onto the current directory that is html so if i enter ls you can see that all the files are right here now all that is left is to start our server so let's enter service httpd start all right now let's go back to our instance let's copy the public ip for address and let's open a new tab paste it let's press enter and now we have got a website loaded from an easy to instance so this is how you can basically host a static website onto an easy to instance so the main components are creating an S3 bucket, EC2 instance and retrieving information from an S3 bucket onto your instance. So that's it guys. So in this particular video, we have basically seen uh, how we can basically uh, deploy a static website onto an instance. So we went through S3 buckets, we created an instance, when, then we have made our instance a web server. After that, we have retrieved the information from the S3 bucket onto our instance. And finally, we have started our server and uh, which is now hosting our website. So that's all for this video and once you are done with this particular video, uh, make sure that you are uh, terminate your instance if you are doing all these for just a tutorial or learning purpose. And uh, here you can basically skip or get out of uh, the machine by enter, entering control D for both for Windows and Mac and that is going to disconnect. So the connection is closed. So thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video.